Hey, I'm Sean Powers, and it's that time of year where you're going to need to have power adapters to plug in devices that might otherwise take batteries, or maybe you're going to get pressured to clean out your closet where you have a thousand power supplies. And seriously, I mean, you know, we know who we are, right? I mean, you know, this is all of us. If you're watching this video, you have piles of these in boxes in your closet. Uh, so what I want to do is give you a rationale for keeping all of them because we should never throw them away. <laughs> um, but as long as you understand how devices work, how they're powered, you can often mix and match different power supplies for a device. You just have to know a couple things. The first thing to know is that voltages should match. No, I guess that's not the first thing. The first thing to note is that you should know if your device takes AC or DC voltage. For example, most things that have giant transformers like this require DC voltage. Most devices that have like barrel connectors take DC voltage. However, this power supply has an input of 120 volts AC and an output of 12 volts AC. So this very uncommon, not used in very many things. So Make sure that uh, it, it matches ACDC wise. The other thing you need to know is that matching voltages is very important uh, because a device will either have like a, a five volt or a 12 volt, or uh, there's thankfully not too many variations on uh, voltages. There are some oddballs, like for example, uh, this, this one happens to be 15 volts, uh, which is very odd. I don't actually know what device this went to. And that's not something you find very often, but like, uh, this one is a 12 volt, uh, adapter and it, it provides 12 volts and one amp. This giant chonker is also 12 volts, but it provides four amps. And that's why they are different sized. Now, the cool thing to know is that you can use this to power whatever this was designed for, because as long as the voltages match, you just have to make sure that your power supply has at least the amount of amperage that the device requires. So for example, whatever this used to go to requires 12 volts and one amp of power. Since this provides four amps of power, this would power it perfectly fine because a device will only take as much amperage as it needs. You just have to make sure that the power supply you're connecting will supply it. Now, I do wish that there was some sort of a standard. So like you could look at a barrel connector and say like, oh, okay, this is 12 volts and, and this is five volts, but no, there are no standards whatsoever for what kind of connector will have what kind of voltage or amperage or anything like that. It would make life a lot easier, but that is not the world we live in. So you have to make sure that you have the same voltages. Voltage has to match. Uh, you have to make sure that you have either AC or DC. It's almost always DC. Usually an AC adapter plugs into the wall and provides DC voltage, but still check to make sure. Uh, you have to have at least enough amperage. And then the other thing is polarity has to match. Now I'll try to put a little overlay, but usually devices have, and a power supply will have a little diagram that shows which which is positive and which is negative. So like for a barrel connector, usually, but not always, the inside is positive and the outside of the barrel connector is negative. Make sure that that's what your device is expecting. There'll usually be a picture on it and make sure that's what your power supply is providing. And as long as those things are all matching, it doesn't matter what power supply you use as long as it fits. And even if it doesn't fit, you can snip one barrel connector off one device. Like, oh, this fits the actual connector on my device, but this power supply is wrong. You can snip this off and attach it to a power supply that does supply the things you need. Make sure you get the polarity right. That's where you might need to use like a, a testing device because when you cut wires and splice them, you don't know which it, the old one was and which the new one is. Um, and so you'll wanna use a voltage tester to make sure like which is positive and which is negative. Make sure that it's matching what the device is expecting and you can mix and match to get devices going. Now, usually devices are 12 volts or five volts, sometimes nine volts, but there are some weirdos like that 15 volt one I had that I still don't know what it goes to. And the other day, my wife has a, a massager. It's like, looks like a cool gun and, and you know, I 
pretend that I'm like a double, like a, an agent or something as I pretend. Anyway, I kill the battery and she couldn't find the charger, but it required a 27 volt charger, which is just a really bizarre voltage uh, to find in like a wall wart kind of situation. Um, oddly enough, because my closet full of power supplies is vast and wonderful, I actually happen to have a 27 volt uh, power supply. And I was a little bit surprised, but also uh, the barrel connector even fit. And so I was able to, out of my closet, find a connector that provided the exact voltage it needed, the polarity checked out, and it actually had more amperage than the, the uh, massager was expecting. And so it was perfectly fine. It works great. So I say all this to say, don't throw away all those old power supplies. They can be very useful, even if they don't fit, even if they're not the right size, you can usually mix and match as long as you make sure those few things um, are solid. Anyway, uh, hopefully that'll help get you through the holiday season, give you a reason not to clean out your closet and um, just make the world a better place. <laughs> I encourage you to learn everything, do what you love, and most importantly, be kind. I'll see you in the next video.